Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Today we take on Arsenal in the European Super Cup, a cup we haven't won yet, and two English teams are heading all the way to Kazakhstan to play a one-off game. UEFA, you need to sort yourselves out. Let's be honest, Kazakhstan isn't even in Europe. It's in Asia. In fact, it's not far off. I know it doesn't border Iran, but it's pretty close. Let's be honest, it's that far east it's not in Europe, let's be honest. Anyway, anyway, enough of me complaining about that because it's a game. I'm sure it won't affect us for the game against Fulham, who we take on in the Premier League, away from home, and we are trying to steal their best player. I'd show you what's happened since the last game, but nothing's happened. There's only been one game played in the Premier League. We sit sixth at the moment, only on goal difference. The fact that five of the teams scored one more goal, that's it. We have got an overall balance of £109 million. We've made £83 million profit this season. We've got £20 million to spend. We are trying to sign Gill from Fulham, like I said. And things are looking good, looking rosy. We're fine, everything's good. Let's get into the... Let's, let's head to Kazakhstan. Bizarre. Why did... Why? Why would they do this? A Kazakhstan... Kazakhstan aren't even Eurovision, are they? I don't think. Anyway, they're going to line up like this. So, God, Batang, Blanc, Kift, Maravich, Agna, Xiao Pedro, Zanardini, Brito, Fall and Raphael. Only the one injury worry. Oh, he's still out injured. He hasn't played for us yet. Golobo... Golobovic, Golobovic, I can say it, I can, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to when he's on the team, but yeah, Golobovic, anyway, let's get in here, I think we should be beating Arsenal, you should think we, we've tanked them before, uh, Chobani is out, Agner is in, I forgot to say that, that's the only thing, I will try and see if I can get rid of Chobani in maybe January, I know he's better, but he's 28, and what we do is we sell them, when they get to 28, 29, we sell them for big profit, and we will make massive profits on this one. Look at their team. Gill is not playing. And I wonder if that's it because he's agreed terms with us. That's Arsenal. What am I looking at? <laughs> Al Mladic, Adriel, Carmot, Lee Miller is the manager, bizarrely. Well, I was thinking, why would I think Gill plays for Arsenal? Get out here. We're the favourites for a reason. Get out there and win. Uh, and ignore that complete weirdness I've just said. Oh, look at our team. Our team is just super. We've got Silver on the bench and Chabani. That's unreal. I am trying to sell the Risley, but Sam does seem to only want to pay £14 million for a £35 million pound defender, which is a bit odd. Kift. Head to, it's head to clear, but Zardini fix it up. Just straight from the kickoff, we've got a highlight. Batang. Batang to Brito to Raphael. Back to Brito. It was nearly a really good bit of play. Their keeper clears it, but straight to Maravich. Kift. Hoofs it forward. Fallen knocks it on. Raphael's there. We should have scored that. Raphael is better at finishing that. I do expect better of him. We've got a corner though. Brito's the take it. To the front post. Kift nearly heads it in. It's blocked again. It's out for another corner. Fallen had a shot into a group of players and he just bounced out. Brito again into the box. Headed clear. Jean Pedro picks it up to Brito. Brito to Zanardini. It's blocked. And we finally got some time to breathe. Had two shots on target. Two shots overall, 100%. I was going to say conversion rate, but you know what I mean. All shots have been on target so far. Raphael beats his man. He's into the box. He cuts it back to the back post and fallen, nods it over. Just quickly, while I can catch a breath. Remember, we are streaming tonight. Twitch.tv forward slash echoes at 7pm. So come along and laugh at me being Everton manager. Come on, it's into the box. It's headed clear and Brito picks it up. The problem is now, these are getting longer and longer, these videos, because there's so many highlights all the time. We're that good. Brito... Just gets it to the box, puts it across, and that's an extremely fortunate goal. The keeper saves it. It comes back out, hits Fallen. He saves it again, and then Fallen knocks it back in, I think. Brito does all the hard work. He, he absolutely roasts his man. His man shows him outside. He cuts inside. Puts a good ball across. The keeper saved the initial cross. It's come off Fallen. Gone to their player who's kicked it then off Fallen, and it's gone in anyway. What a load of effort to not stop the goal. Six shots, four on target. Look at Arsenal. Haven't had a shot yet. I say that as they clear the ball. But Blanc's got there. Batang to Blanc. Remember, Blanc was a free transfer. And now he's one of the best defenders in the world. João Pedro, Rafael. Rafael gives the ball away, not like him. Francisco Jose. Over the top. Sogar gets there first. Off his line like an absolute trooper. Martinez. Carmeni. Is he going to score? Is he going to shoot? Are they going to shoot? Soto, it's into the box, headed clear by Kiff, picked up by Brito. We still haven't let them shoot. Jao Pedro to Rafael, knots it down to Fallen. Fallen's there, that's another good save by, is it Mogoni or Mognani? He's a good keeper anyway, he's having a good game. Brito, 
into the box, headed clear, Soto picks it up. Can we stop him? He's up towards Blanc. Blanc shows him out wide. Well, he held, he actually held him up really well there. Khomeini, Adriel, Geraldo, into Adriel, tackled by Maravich there. And Brito picks it up. And still, not a single shot on target for a shot at all. Khomeini into the box. Headed clear again. Picked up by Brito. And look how quick we are on the break. Brito just stretching those legs. He's into the box. He's shot. That's another good save by Mognoni. You're keeping them in the game here. It should be our 3 or 4 nil. Brito with the corner. Into the box. It's headed clear. It's picked up again by Blanc. And that's highlight over. Brito, another corner into the box. Kift heads it towards goal. And Mognoni picks it up. You know, simple save. He hoops it clear. It's headed back by Maravich to Kift. Back to Maravich. To Blanc. Blanc. Batang. Batang. Zanardini. Batang again. Agner. Agner's got it back. He plays over the top towards Fallen. Fallen's played it's gone to Magnoni, but it's back with Kift. Jao Pedro, Agner, Zanardini. Raphael's had a shot, and then Zanardini, it's just over the bar. Well, high and wide, but it was a good, good effort. Again, they still haven't had a shot. This is Arsenal we're playing, remember. It's cleared away towards Raphael. Raphael knocks it over the top to Fallen, and he's not going to catch him. Fallen's in. It's another good save, but he's got the ball back. He puts it into the box. It's cleared away, and Amladovic brings it away, and it's a great tackle by Batang. Batang seems to. I've calmed down a little bit. He used to be really rash like that. But we're getting towards time. We've had 12 shots, 9 on target. Brito, another corner into the box. It's headed clear. It's picked up by Adriel. Adriel gets down the wing. He's beaten Batang. There's a player in the middle there. Carmini. This is their first shot straight at Sogard. It's taken 37 minutes to have a shot. I mean, that's incredible. Kift. Jao Pedro to Kift. Maravich. Jao Pedro. Batang, Agner, Raphael's in, and he's missed. I was about to say, and he's just knocked it home. But never mind, Brito scored anyway. Ball comes back into the box. Brito nods it, nods it home, knocks it home. He's not. I think he's, he did head it, did he? I don't think I've ever seen Brito score a header before. Have a look at this. Fallen gets the ball for it. In fact, those two players should be ashamed of themselves. Puts the ball back into the box, and he does nod it in. Straight underneath the goalkeeper, and it's 2-0. And... No more than we deserved. No less than we deserved. We deserve more. Um, 15 shots, 10 on target. And they've had 3-3 three and three now. So they're doing a little bit better. Maravich, ball forward. The defender misses it and Raphael's in. Raphael is chopped by two players. We're getting a penalty. Because if it goes in, it's game over. And I start bringing the kids on in the second half. I might bring on Chobani. He's, he's not a kid, but you know what I mean. Chobani and Newcomb. Silver and Newcomb. Penalty awarded. There we are. Who's taking it? Raphael will take the penalty. He's missed a couple of scissors today. So let's hope he doesn't miss this one. He steps up. And bang. No mistake. High into the top of the net. And it's 3-0 at half time. <clears throat> I think we're just about to show our dominance over all the other teams in England. We are so much better than most of the teams. Only City, Liverpool come close at the moment. But even then, it's not really close, is it? I mean, City give us a lot of trouble. I suppose because the way we play is so open, but I mean, look at this 2.64 actually. 16 shots, 11 on targets. Arsenal 3 and 3. Where are possession wise? 60% possession against Arsenal. Crazy stats. Happy way things are going on. Keep it up. Omladic to Gabriel. Magnoni. He must be disappointed because he's played so well. Who's to clear? It's over the top straight to Omladic. Malad- he's put it in. We are susceptible to one of the balls over the top. I mean, that. To say their goal, he's having an excellent game, and now he's got an assist to his name. Look at this one ball right over the top, and we're caught out. And it Kift is getting on a bit, but it's a good finish, to be fair. Now, I don't think we're in any danger, to be honest, but still a little bit disappointed to concede that. Right, 50 minutes gone. We now look at subs. Agnes not having the best of games. I'm gonna bring on Silver, not having the worst game, but he's not having a great game. And Zanardini's going to come off for... I'm going to bring a Lloyd. Swap those two round. Put Lloyd for Raphael. And go like that. Get Lloyd on... I mean, I do like Lloyd. Let's be honest. Lloyd Wolfenden got more goal... What if he got 30-odd goals one season? One golden boots. And the next season I bought Raphael to replace. Because <laughs> I'm nice like that. Bug. But you, no sentiment with um, Nicholas either. 
as soon as he went downhill a little bit, he went. Adriel, Carmani, and it's wide. Now they are really coming back into this. So I'm hoping Silva gets hold of the ball here and creates some things. Blanc, Sogard, João Pedro to Raphael. Raphael, great ball to... Oh, nearly to fallen. He had to curve his run there to stay on side, and that's what I think the problem was. Ball forward. Blanc heads it back. Brito, João Pedro, fallen. João Pedro, fallen again. Brito, fallen. Brito again. Wolf and Dunn's there. Well, what did I say? He does score goals. He scored some very important ones last year. And now it's 4-1. And I will look to take off maybe Maravich and João Pedro. I think I'll we'll make more substitutions in this. This is better than the last time we were in this competition. Brito to Lloyd Wolf and then just slots it home. Excellent finish. We've got a, bit of, a little bit of luck on a ricochet there. And we keep that. He's Brito knackered, is he? Maravich to Sogard. Out to Brito. Brito looks up. Puts the ball towards Fallen. It was a tired looking ball, but he gets there first. Gives it back to Fallen again. And he's made it 5 1. And. This is why I'm not going to show you as many Premier League games as I normally do this year, I think. Because Arsenal, I think, finished in the top four last year. He was third or fourth. And look what we're doing. Some absolutely dismantling them. 5 1. It's almost like you're playing now with. You know, unlimited money, and you just bought bought all the best players. But now we haven't, obviously, we've skint. But you know what I mean. And can we get João Pedro off for Newcomb? No, can only can we make three? Surely can make five subs in this. We're eighty minutes in, twenty-two shots, fifteen on fifteen on target. That is a crazy amount. Fallen's on a nine point zero. Raphael's on a seven point nine. And there we have it. We've won the Super Cup. I don't... It, it's not really that super, is it? It's a glorified charity shield in Kazakhstan. Yeah, it's a good turnout. A lot of fans travel from Darlington to this. If you look, look at most of the ground, it's Darlington fans. So, why the ball won't give me a new ground is beyond me. But there we go. Wee! Maravich lifts the cup. Dances around a bit. Black and white ticker tape everywhere. Let's ruin the environment. Job well done, lads. Job well done. Happy with that. Congratulations. All that stuff. Another trophy. Congratulations. I'm pleased you win the... I'm not that pleased. I'm not that bothered. Not that bothered. But it was a cup, wasn't it? You had to be in it to win it. Where was the decisive kift? We won 5-1. How is anyone complaining about winning 5-1? Some of the comments are mad, aren't they? I know that's real life on Twitter anyway. But, you know, I have been around Twitter enough to see madness... But we get 4.1 million for that. They won't increase the transfer budget unless I make a compelling case. So let's make a compelling case. I would like to transfer as a risk going backwards. We've already recently updated the club's budget and we aren't looking to change them again. Why? I mean, we got loads of money. Give me a bit more. Anyway, going to click on for the Fulham game. In three days' time, we're in Kazakhstan at the moment. I'll see you in a second. Welcome back then for the Fulham game, and I am absolutely devastated. Gill has left Fulham. He went to Man City on less money. So he'd rather go to Man City on less money than the European champions. It makes no sense to me whatsoever, but he has, and he's already their best player. Their best... Oh, I can't get over it, I really can't. I will look for another player, but he was a 100 recommendation. And the other guy that I really want... I've offered 200 million for him and they still won't take it. So, anyway, enough of that crying. Fulham, then. We're going to go with Sogard, Batang, Blanc, Kift, Maravic, Silva, and Agna. We're going to give João Pedro a little bit of rest. He's he's a bit tired. Zanardini, Brito, Fulham, Raphael. Again, we should beat Fulham quite comfortably. Watch us lose now. And whoever comes in for Gill gets a hat trick or something. And he's someone useless. Uh, anyway, Eric Ten Hag is the manager. Interesting. Hossino's up front, Antonio Marcus, I don't recognise many of them at all. Maximoff, I do recognise, he's an ex-Darlington player, never quite made it. Uh, and I think that's quite justified in selling him, now he's on Fulham's bench, to be honest. He was one of the early one the kids we brought in when we first made it to the Premier League. So, let's get it on. Batang to Fallen, Fallen to Silver, Silver beats one man, gives it back to Batang, Batang. To Agna. Agna from range. It's hit the top of the bar. 
wasn't a bad effort. So look at all those Darlington fans behind that goal. Going absolutely mental. Graham to Augusto. Roberts. Aaron. Mariotti. Hosinu to Montgomery. Montgomery down the wing. Can he get a ball in? No, he can't. Zanardini clears it to Fallen. Fallen on the run now. Can he get into the box? He stops. He holds on to it. He puts it back to Batang. Batang to Maravich. Maravich to Brito. Brito, Agner. Brito again. Raphael's in and it's 1 0. Really well worked goals. Six minutes in and we're 1 0 up. And even with that disappointment of not getting Gill, we're still the best team in the world as far as I'm concerned. Sodgy Gill. I'll look for another Wonder Kid. I try and pick up the Chief South American Wonder Kids up. That's what we'll do. Get a couple of youngsters in. Hopefully, to turn out like Raphael and Fallen. And they've hit the outside of the post. Interesting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye on that. Montgomery with a corner. Into the box. Headed clear by Kift, as always. Brito picks it up. And I thought we were going to hit them on the break, but apparently not. We're now up to fourth. Getting wrong. We had two games, so it doesn't really matter much. Silver into the box. Headed down. Raphael shoots, but it's blocked. And out for another corner, which we don't get to see. Was that a corner or was that a throw, uh, goal kick? I don't know. Didn't tell me. We've had eight shots. Only the one on target. Jesus. They've had one shot. Which was the one hit the post. So. Interesting game. Not much happening this half. They have a corner. Deep. Sorry. A throw in deep into our half. Aaron picks it up. It's got a little accent above the O. So I'm not sure how I'm pronouncing that. But it's, it's Aaron. Zanardini. Into the box. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what you're playing at there Zanardini. But that is absolutely woeful. You might want to rethink some of your life choices if you're going to shoot like that. We get to half time. It looks like at 1 0 up. No, we might have another chance here. Batang, Fallen, Silver, towards Zanardine. It's picked up by Aaron. Cleared away to Batang. Batang to Blanc. Blanc. It's headed out, but it goes to Zanardini. Zanardini down the wing. Can he get a ball into the box? He does. It's headed clear again. Daham. Mariotti, Aaron, but Silver gets in, gives it to Fallen, to Agner, to Brito, towards Raphael. Raphael's got it. That was over the line. It was over the line. There we go. Bizarre goal. It goes down as an own goal. The ball was going back towards the keeper. He comes out to collect it. Was it Raphael slides in with the keeper? It then goes towards the line. I thought it was a goal for Raphael. This. He gets back and picks it up over his line. As you do. I mean. We've all seen goalkeepers. What is he doing? <laughs> I've never seen a goalkeeper do that. Anyway, oh, 18 shots, 6 on target, 2.24 XG, and they've got 4 on 2. We are well in the lead here. Happy where things go and keep it up. And we will then look to rest a few players because we do have some games thick and fast at the beginning of the season. Montgomery into the box. And uh, there's a goal conceded. That's his first ever goal for Fulham. And the amount of times you see that when you're playing against teams is unreal. Corner into the box. Augusto's left completely alone by who is that? Silver. Maybe he shouldn't have been marking the nine foot two defender. Kift. Blanc. Silver. Batang to Agner. Batang again. We need to assert our dominance now. Kift's got it. Gives it to Maravich. Agner. Inside to Silver. Kift. Brito. Agner. Raphael, Fallen, Silver, Fallen, Batang, Zanardini, Zanardini's Fallen again, back to Fallen, Brito, Raphael, Br this is hard to comment, he's on the, that quick, these passes, but we give it away, and they just hoover back to us, Blanc, Silver, Agner, into Fallen, turns, and he's, it's a good save, comes off the bar, I was going to say goal, but it, it didn't go in, do not be dropping points here, we're still leading, Brito with the corner, Towards the front post. And Kift nodded just over the bar. So guard. To Blanc. To Zanardini. To Silva. To Agner. Agner. Zanardini. Silva. Agner. Brito. Into Raphael. Oh, it's blocked at the front post. Oh, anyway. 20 on shots. 7 on target. Oh. Some people said they want the save. If you could tell me how to give people the save, I'll, I'll put the save and let you download it, if you want. I've no idea how to do it, though, so someone will have to help me out. Maybe you can help me out on stream tonight. 
Kift, Marovic, Agner, into Silva, Silva to Zanardini, Batang, into Fallen, Fallen to Zanardini, shots he's at the post, and is that another own goal? And probably the most bizarre, I mean, I thought the first own goal was bad. What was this? Fallen has a shot. No, he doesn't. Zanardini has a shot. Comes back. And Roberts went down as Augusto. Did Roberts kick it off Augusto and straight in? It must have done because, to me, it looked like he'd just had a shot. I haven't made any substitutions. What am I doing? Um, Silver for Giovanni. Um, Newcomb. And Zanardini's going to have to come off for somebody. Oh, no. I've messed this up, haven't I? Raphael. There we go. We'll swap those two round. I should have made those substitutions a lot earlier, to be honest. Um, I wasn't paying attention. I was waffling away about saves. Stapley into the box, picked up by Sogard. I haven't seen Sogard make a mistake yet. I really haven't. Hoofs it up the pitch. Brito nods it on. Fallen. So Raphael, who's now on the wing, Raphael puts it wide. And a 3 1 win away from home, you can't complain about. We do have another highlight though. Ball out to Villegas. He brings it down. It could be called Villagers, couldn't he? It's probably definitely Villegas though. Maravich gets there. Raphael, Maravich clears it. Getty gets there. But Chabani's now got it. Gives it to Fallen. Fallen, we know he's quick. He's into the box. And bang, into the top corner. Makes it 4 1. Puts. A bit of gloss on it that the, the performance deserved, to be honest. We've had most of the ball, most of the shots. And that is a cracking finish. Jabari picks it up, plays it to Fallen. It's not the greatest of ball, but it's what Fallen makes of it. Brings it in, and look at this with his left foot. Right into the top corner there. What a finish that is. What a player. And we're 4 1 up. And there we go. 25 shots, 8 on the... Look at the domination, shots-wise, and chances created. is unreal. Two own goals, yeah, I know, but... That's not my fault, is it? I didn't say score own goals. Well done, boys. I'm happy with that. Raphael's early goal was... No, I don't think... I think we're going to win anyway. It doesn't matter when Raphael scored. We are always going to win that game. Uh, we're top of the league now. Look at that. Goal difference of 5 after 2 games. City and Liverpool and Sheffield United, the other teams, on 100%. But teams like United, Chelsea... Spares have dropped points already, which is interesting stuff. Um, Burrell spotted Craven Cottage. Who's he looking at? Brito? PSG. I haven't looked at PSG's player, have I? Mm -hmm. Let me have a quick look. Have you got any wingers just kicking around the bench? I mean, Kieran Ralston, I would like, but he's 26 now. Look at him, though. He's great, but he's 26. Shall we ask, make inquiry? I'll make an inquiry. A cheeky little inquiry in there. And who's this boy? Because he, no, he's too old. Two, I don't want youngsters. We only want youngsters. We don't care. Palasti. Vigo won him. He must be old as well. He is 32 now. See, this is the problem. All uh, Everyone's good players are getting on a bit, apart from ours. David Hernandez, 32. See, they're all getting on a bit. Anyway, there's Troncoso playing midfield. 29 now. See, we, we got rid of him when we, when we should have. So, table-wise, no point showing you this, but we are top of the league. There you go. Raphael's got the most goals. He's second on Rabbit Drayton. Assist, chabani has got two and Brito's got two. Raphael's got most money on the matches. We are. We're pretty good, aren't we? We are. We're pretty good. When are we coming back then? So, we're going to come back for the Champions League game, which should be around about here. We'll see what we get in the Champions League. We're aiming to win it again. Look at that pre-season. 6-0, 4-0, 3-1, 3-0. And then, you know... We don't have many pre-season games this year. I'm not sure why that was. I know a few got rejected, but I'm not sure was there a competition going on. 2038? Okay, it was the World Cup. Or the It was one of the two. That's why. Anyway, we're going to come back for the Champions League game. I am back tonight. Remember on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash echo. So if you are kicking around, come on. Come, come and just watch me talk rubbish for three hours. We finish at 10. Um, and yeah, it is what it is. But anyway... You are enjoying this and you want to support the channel, just leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, you know what stuff YouTubers tell you to do. Hit the notification bell, that too. And uh, I'll see you all again this evening or tomorrow.